some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we'll find ourselves on a plane owned by Hawaiian Airlines, where a sovereign citizen refuses to give up a seat at his uh, service animal is currently occupied for a person that actually needs him. And, well, he ends up pulling out a few of the sovereign citizen uh, greatest hits of all time, such as wanting to sue everybody in sight and whining about discrimination. So let's go ahead and uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I mean, the, the plane, that's totally fine. We know for sure. Then we'll get you off. Okay, I just dealt with the FBI. I know what I'm up okay. against. So, yeah. so okay. it has nothing to do with the dog. It has to do with you. For what? Yeah, it has nothing to do with the dog, really, because, you know, it's the dog's owner that's the issue. Uh, there are people that actually need those seats, and your dog can sit between your legs and be just as comfortable, because I know some dogs, and they love to sit between their owner's legs for some reason. I guess it makes them feel uh, a bit closer to them. Okay, now, whatever their complaint is right now, it's just... They want you. They off. want the dog on the floor, and that's against the law. Okay. Perhaps you're the one who should spend time actually looking up the laws instead of saying what you think they should say. I mean, in this particular scenario, the Americans with Disability Act and the Department of Transportation allows for the dog to stay with the handler and can be placed between the legs of the owner. So, you know what? Uh, you're wrong, soft heart. Uh, but hell, that's nothing to be ashamed about because usually soft cards are wrong quite a bit of the time. Dogs can go We're anywhere. Not here for the dog. What did I do? Okay. Because I'm fucking sick and tired of discrimination? Discrimination against who? Against what exactly? I mean, please be a bit more clear. Uh, use one of your go to's and use. Uh, the color of law argument next time. Okay, well, this, yeah. the thing is, it's a private entity here. Okay, okay. with federal funds. You okay. you guys are about to get so fucked, so you okay. better fucking and read fine. the Constitution. You know, I'm going to need a citation for that because I have read the Constitution several times, and especially for my college classes where I had to create presentations based on certain parts of it. I have never seen anything about... Uh, dogs being required or anything like that on planes at any given time, blah, blah, blah. I mean, but there is the Tenth Amendment, which does grant the states the right to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. But thus far, uh, there's nothing in the Constitution about dogs on a plane. But they want you off the plane, so... I'm not getting go. off. Okay? I'm not getting off. Okay? Well, here's the thing. We're going to deboard. So okay, deboard. Go ahead, Oh, so you want to inconvenience everybody else because you want to be an asshat who thinks that he's above the law, huh? Okay, well, everybody on that plane is going to love you from this point on. And I'm being real facetious about that, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, thank you. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. If I put them on the floor, then I'll stay. Um, nope, you haven't exactly endeared yourself to anybody around here. You've reached the point of no return. The police were called. There are no more options. You are off the plane. I follow rules. I'm in a chair. Yeah, and now he's on the floor. Now that you do all this, now you come by. You the reason why. See, you the reason. You don't know why you get problems. This is America. America, this is not America, this is Hawaii. Well, we looks like we got somebody else on the plane who really needs to study up on uh, their maps, at least, because uh, Hawaii is part of the United States. Hawaii got stolen a couple years ago. Stolen low time. Uh, Hawaii has been a state since 1959. By the way, I'm an idiot. Yeah, please take your bags. Awesome. I got my five-year-old here. You're a great role model. Thank you. Right. And you should listen to Eminem. 
That's rich. Hey, guess what? Our country is fucked anyway, so thanks for Joe Biden. Well, Joe Biden isn't exactly here, and you're the one who's up at this moment causing issues for everybody else on this plane because you want to act like a complete jackass. So stop trying to deflect attention away from your stupidity. Please don't even say. We got a comedian on the plane, buddy. Yeah, yeah it's just it's being funny. Well, pretty soon, uh, America's going to be a police state, so you just keep... Okay, uh, you frauditors and softards need to get together and discuss, is this currently a police state, or are we heading to a police state? Because none of you idiots can ever give a single straight answer as to whether it is or it isn't, or if it's heading that way as we speak. Yeah, I agree. This guy uh, is quite selfish, uh, and he's only thinking about his own inconveniences, which is leading him to create inconveniences for everybody else on the plane because he has to be accommodated, even though the solution is simple. Let the dog sit between your legs and then carry on. Dog will tolerate the inconvenience as long as you get to the destination. A little longer than a few minutes later. Can you tell me what line broken? Here's a little tidbit for you, Softard. Hawaiian Airlines is a private company. They don't need a reason to kick you off the plane. And you have given them more than enough reason to kick you off the plane anyway, considering that you uh, don't want to cooperate with their flight attendants and create room for everybody else on the plane. I mean, all you have to do, all you had to do, was put the dog between your legs, and you couldn't even be bothered to do that. Thank you. Thank you, bro. All they said was get the dog on the ground. That was simple. Right. All you Discrimination. Had to do. Discrimination. Maybe. What? Is this the dog's Rosa Parks moment already? You should read the law. Dude, I would advise you to tell anybody to read the law, considering you haven't even taken the slightest bit of effort to even read the law itself, because it only took me a minute to find uh, that uh, material earlier to debunk your sorry ass. Oh no, oh my god. I I'm gonna go have a beer and don't give a fuck about what you guys say, so... I hope you go to jail for the freaking yeah, rest of the yeah. life. Yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you. Well, guess what? I was strangled at Soja, so why don't you guys go fucking read that? The truth is, guys, starting to get on my nerves. Why don't you just go die? Because you're not American. Okay, I think I'm beginning to get this guy. He is a multicultural, multiracial bigot. He hates everybody equally. Yeah, I haven't broken any fucking lies yet. Okay. No, I'm not. You're gonna have the biggest fucking lawsuit ever. Well, now would be definitely a good time to play Sovereign Citizen Bingo. Hey, lawsuit. I've got you guys on camera. Come on, let's I haven't broken any lies. Do you guys want to read the ADA law? Seven of these fucks. America, this is a First Amendment right. You guys have discriminated more. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. I thought the fucking Kauai bus was bad. Oh, poor baby. And well, there you have it, folks. The dude was escorted off the plane because of his own damn brilliant stupidity. I mean, uh... If you're going to ride a plane and the dog has to sit between your legs to allow other people to uh, sit down, then what is the harm in doing that? I mean, the dog is going to be okay with it either way.
Because the dog is going to be content either way, just being near their family member. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.